Welcome to Beginner's Web Design. My name is Stefan Mischuk with KillerSites.com. For this course, I assume that you know absolutely nothing about web design, and by the end of the course, you will have built a website. The style of the course is much more like a one-on-one -on -one tutorial rather than a classroom type of lecture setting. The reason for this is that I find that it's much easier for people to take in information in this style of teaching. Though the course is very structured, I use an ad lib free flow style of presentation. So sometimes you may hear me mispronounce a few words or have to repeat myself. I'm not scripted here. Let's answer a couple of common questions that I get with regards to learning web design. First of all, do you need web design software to build websites? Short answer is no and we don't use web design software in this course. We actually use software that comes free on every computer, whether it be Windows, Mac, etc. Do you need a special type of computer? Do you need very powerful new computers to do this course? Again, the answer is no. That's one of the beauties about web design is in that it requires very little in terms of horsepower to build sites even at a professional level. So if you're using a 10 year old computer, you're fine. You have no problems following along in this course and building websites. For most of the course, I'm doing all the demonstrations in Windows 7, not because Windows 7 has any major advantages over other operating systems, whether it be Windows 8, Mac OS or, or Windows XP. I'm just demoing with Windows 7 simply because it's the most popular operating system that people are using today. I'm recording this in October 2012. If you're using any other flavor of Windows, you'll be fine. If you're using Mac OS, you'll be fine because web design and is a universal process. There's one little difference with Mac OS and that has to do with creating text files. If you know how to create text files in Mac, you'll be able to follow along perfectly. If you don't, no, don't worry about it. I've included a video specifically for Mac people how to create text files on the Mac so you can build your websites. Yes, building websites has a lot to do with building text files, but we're going to get into that when we actually get into the course itself. The course is actually structured in two major sections. You have the core videos where we cover the core web design techniques and you should follow these videos in sequential order meaning start with video number one, then go to number two, number three, etc. And then you have the miscellaneous videos where you can just, just grab whatever ones you want to learn at that particular moment. So you have a video on embedding video into your web pages. You have another video on embedding sound, another video on creating forms, etc. It's more of a grab bag of techniques. So you can just watch those in, at any time you like after and, and in any order after you've done the core videos. The ultimate goal of this course is to give you practical web design skills so you can easily build a website. I also want to get into your hands or into your head a good understanding of the fundamental techniques and principles of web design because once you have these techniques and principles it will be easy for you to really expand your knowledge beyond these beginner skills, or perhaps you want to get into a web design program like Dreamweaver or Expression Web, knowing the basics of web design really well and understanding how to build your basic pages and a basic site will be very, very beneficial to you. It will make the process of learning the advanced stuff much, much, much easier. Let me conclude this introduction with three learning tips. As we go through the course, and we're building things, I encourage you to follow along by actually trying to build the stuff as you go along. Do the samples, do the work. Tip number two, the web design process is a process filled with errors. Even world-class pro web designers will constantly make mistakes as they're building out their sites and their pages. So especially for beginners, don't worry about running into hiccups, making errors. That's just normal. It's the way it goes. And tip number three, 
don't be afraid to take breaks. If you find yourself getting frustrated, something's not sinking in, just walk away for a few hours, 20 minutes, or the next day. You'll find that it makes the whole process of learning web design a lot easier. And it will give your brain some time to sort of settle into this whole new world and this whole new way, way of thinking, for most of you anyway. That's it. I'll see you in video number one in the core video series.